Choose the correct answer from the given alternatives. Question number one. According to the land use model of Vontanen, which of the following are proposed to come to the third zone? Aka model itifayeda malafa Vontanenit, kanen armanga di kesa, zoni sadafati kan argamukami. A. Perishable products. B. Woods and the timber products. C. Crops and the grains. D. Ranching of animals. Model li Vontanen, Giddugales isa nuclasin magala fi gaba yota u magala fi gaba te ane productin yokin omish ni omisha mukabu warren adem sa geje bati kokesat defani gaba ke sa gahu kandandan kanen ak kudra fi mudra kurtumi anani the perishable products like that of vegetables milk and the dairy farming are produced nearest to the market. Next to the perishable products, bulky products, which needs longer transportation and the costs are expected to produce at the second zone, like that of timber products and the woods. At the third, grains and the crops are expected to cultivate in the third zone. In the fourth zone, ranching of animals are expected to be reared. So, the correct answer is C. Question number two. Which of the following is not identified as the influencing factor of the types of production at any particular location in Vontan and Concentric Circle? A. Distance to the market experienced by the transport cost. B. Selling price of the product at the market. C. Land rent or net profit. D. Labor inputs. The influencing factors of the type of production at any particular location in Vonton and Concentric Circles are 1. Distance to the market expressed by the transportation cost. 2. Selling price of the product at a market. 3. Land rent net profit. So, D. Labor input is not affecting the location and production of Vontuna. Question number 3. Farmers do not possess full knowledge and may not all make rational or consistent decision to maximize profit. This is the criticism of Vontanen on A. Over simplification B. Outdatedness C. Failure to recognize the role of government D. Failure to include behavioral factors Vontanen's criticism 1. Over simplification This means Vontanen believes that there is uniformly plain land forms but in fact, there is no homogeneity in climate, soil, marketplaces, and also large plain areas. Two, outdatedness. The major transportation modes in Vontanen was ox carts. So, deeply, he was dictates based on ox carts. He never predicts about the technological developments the innovation of modern transportation. Three, Vontanen forgets the intervention of government in land use change. Four, Vontanen also forgets the behavioral factors. So, the correct answer is failure to include behavioral factors. Question number four. Two products, vegetables and the grains are Transported with a distance of 3 km and 2.5 km from the concentric city. The market price for vegetables was 200 and grain was sold by a timber. Their product cost and the transportation costs are 240 and 70 for vegetables and 50 and 
15 for grains. Which of them is more profitable? A. Vegetable. B. Unpreciable products. C. Grains. D. Woods. So, profitability is equal to for vegetables 200 minus 114 plus 70 which is negative 10 for grains 80 minus 50 plus 15 65 which is equal to 15 grain is more profitable question number 5 of the following, one is incorrect about Vonton and land use model. Which one is it? A. Transport costs increases with increasing distance from the market. B. When the distance to the market increases, production costs remain the same. C. A central market city established at the peripheries of a plane of physical similarities. D. Location being near to the market are more benefited in agricultural land use system. In Vontunan land use model, one transport costs increases with increasing distance from the market. Two, when the distance to the market increases, production costs are remain the same. But a central market city established at the center, not at the peripheries of the physical similarities. And locations being near to the market are more benefited in agricultural land use system. So the answer is C, which says that at the peripheries, but it is formed in the center of airplane physical similarities. Question number six. Which of the following land use model considers the effect of location on agricultural development? A. Vontuna. B. Weber. C. Kristaller. D. Thomas Maltas. Vontuna's land use model considers the effect of location on agricultural development. So, the answer is A. Weber studies about the effect of location on transportation. Kristaller studies and justifies more in a detail about the effect of location on settlement and the services. But von Thunen studies and justifies more in a detail about the effect of location on agricultural development. Question number seven. Commodities that lose mass during production can be transported less expensively from the production site to the market than from the raw material site to the production site. Therefore, the production site will be located A. Near the market B. Near the raw materials C. In the first concentric circle D. Near the industries According to However, commodities that lose mass during production can be transported less expensively from the production site to the market site than from the raw material site to the production site. Therefore, they are produced near the raw materials. So, the correct answer is near the raw materials. Question number eight. The weight of the raw materials and the final commodity are important determinants of transport costs and the location of productions for A. Alpha rubber, B. Kristaller, C. Vontunen, D. Robert Hook. The weight of the raw materials and the final commodities are important determinant factors of transport cost and the location production for alpha dober so the answer is a question number three settlements or nodal points have two support adjacent areas with goods and services easier to be a concentric circle theory 
बी थ्रियांगुलर प्लेस थ्योरी सी सेंट्रल प्लेस थ्योरी डी रेक्टेंगुलर प्लेस थ्योरी सेट एलिमेंट्स और नोडल पॉइंट्स हैव टू सपोर्ट एडजेसेंट एरियाज विद गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज इज सेड टू बी सेंट्रल प्लेस थ्योरी व्हिच वाज डेवलप्ड बाय द क्रिस्टलर सो द आंसर इज सी सेंट्रल प्लेस थ्योरी क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 Retaining a hierarchy of control between high order and low order settlement is the aim of a market principle, b administrative principle, c transportation principle, d casery system. Good. The casery system aims to retain a hierarchy of control. between the high order and the low order settlements this is also known as administrative principle the answer is b question number 11 a well established urban system containing a large city a smaller number of towns many villages and hamlets in the hypothetical region were identified by a Bontunen B Alfred Weber C Crystaller D Thomas Malthus Crystaller in his hierarchical model identify a well established urban system which containing a large city a smaller number of towns and many hamlets and villages in hypothetical region this is known as a central place theory so the answer is c question number 12 which of the following is incorrect about central place of crystaller a boundless plain landscape experiencing uniform physical environment b no suppliers will receive excessive profit in the model c the total number of sites served in casery will be for settlements d lower order settlements are located at the midpoint of sites along the roads in transport principle in central place of crystaller one boundless plain landscape experiencing a uniform physical environment two no suppliers will receive excessive profit in the model three lower order settlements are located at the midpoint of the sites along the roads in the transportation principle so the answer is c why the answer is c the total number of sites served in k3 is not four but three the two lower order settlements and one higher order settlements the higher order settlement in casery system serves himself and the two lower settlement orders question number 13 of the following which one is the most determinant factor in weber land use model a labor input b agglomeration of economy c transportation cost d weight losing inputs The most determinant factors in Weber land use model were one the labor input but it is becomes modifiable which means if there is highly excessive number of labor forces that hinder the profitability of the industry the owner or the firm have the ability to reduce the number of what the labor force agglomeration of economies this also modifiable but transportation cost is unmodifiable so is the most determinant factor than the others c is the correct answer question number 14 which of the following pairing is correct a k3 system market principle weber land use model b k4 system transport principle wontner land use model 
C. K7 system administrative principle crystal Ireland use model D. K3 system transport principle crystal Ireland use model Question number 15 According to Weber, industries using bulky inputs like aluminium refineries should locate nearer to all of the following except A. The supply sources B. To the energy sources C. At port sites D. To the market sites Weber proposes firms using bulky inputs like aluminium refineries should locate nearer to 1 the supply sources to nearer to the energy sources or at the port sites but the industries that use uv kits raw materials like water solar power and the like are expected to locate it closer to the markets so the correct answer is d except d all A, B, C are the correct answer for bulky inputs like aluminum, refineries. Question number 16. What will be your suggestion if the material index in Weber land use model appears to be 1? A. The industry should locate near the market. B. The market should locate near the raw materials. C. Transportation should carry bulky loads. D. The industry should locate near the raw materials. If the material index in Weber model is 1, the industry firm should locate nearer to the raw materials. So, the answer is D. Question number 17. Which of the following is correct about the concentric circle theory of Weber? A. An isolated region have no external influence. B. Using multi-optional modes of transportation was his strength. C. Self-sufficient isolated state with no external influence is practical in reality. D. Industries that use ubiquitous raw materials are likely located closer to raw materials. According to Weber, the concentric circle theory 1. Isolated regions have no external influences 2. Unable to propose multi-optional modes of transportation was his weakness 3. Self-sufficient isolated state with no external influence is difficult to find in reality 4. Industries that use ubiquitous raw materials are likely located closer to market so the correct answer is a an isolated region have no external influences